jump through this real quickly. Um, but we always start here. This is how we always start the process. I hope this is the same everywhere. Lay them here. Have them, you know, don't say anything about the bed other than, hey, this is a flippable mattress. Talk about the Joma wool. Talk about the, the latex that's in here. Start introducing the nested pocketed coil concept to them. Um, then we, we lay them here. Uh, ask which feels better. Was that better, worse? See where they are. See where they land. Uh, kind of get a feel if it's a couple. You know, where's the, the, the female? Where's the male on it? You know, are they the same? Are they different? I always uh, congratulate them if they can feel the difference. I say, great, you're in tune with your body. So compliments are always a fantastic thing. Um, and then once I find these, the, what they like between these two fills, I then move them down to uh, the swear engine. So let's grab a couple fresh pillows and get started. This is a big thing. Um, I always go with the low loft because the S700 has that head adjustable, uh, and I talk about it. So get something low loft because you can't make the bed go down. You can make it come up. Um, so you always want to select your pillow based on the, the width between the shoulder and the neck, right? So uh, typically on a flat sleeper, that's an important thing. But I always go with low loft because it gives the ability to, to really make that head uh, tilt very noticeable. Because for a lot of people, that's just not enough pillow. So, if you guys go ahead and lay down. So, some just logistical things too. Uh, man and woman, let's say, um, we'll, Kalima will be um, my woman in this situation. I'll never be on her side of the bed just because I don't want to be threatening. So, I always put myself, I make myself as small as possible so I'm not threatening. I always try to sit down um, and stay on the man's side so that I'm not, you know, talking over his wife or girlfriend back to him. So I think this is a critical thing. Um, and also getting small. So um, I'm just gonna jump in from here. So this, those are just some of the, the key things that I do before I ever get started. <clears throat> so I've got a college girlfriend? Yeah, you yes. have a 22 year old girlfriend, so. Get my character down. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, I know you guys came in looking for a mattress, but I'm gonna show you something kind of fun. This is a great time, so. Guys, if I were to take you and throw you into space, I would be the strongest man on the planet. Obviously, I'm not that strong, but this is the position that your bodies would naturally go into, and it's called zero gravity. You can achieve this by going into space, or you can do it by going into water. And if you really think about the position that your body's going into, uh, think about the fetal position, you know, a return to the, really where we all came from, our mother's womb. This is a very natural position to be in. Does that feel pretty good? You guys both comfortable? Oh yeah. Okay, your feet need to come up, head need to come up, anything? Yeah. Feels pretty good. good? All right, so uh, do either of you guys work on your feet? Oh yeah, all the time. All the time? All right, so I can take this up a level. So there's a nice little feature and there's a massage feature. A little in your back. You guys like that or hate it? You like it? I what about you? Massage. You don't like the massage? No. Okay, not on the feet? Okay, let me back that off for you. Okay, got you reversed, yeah. Is that better? Yes, it's great. Okay. All right, so um, there's, there's something that happens to your guys' body when you get into this position. There's, uh, it's pretty relaxing, really. Have you, either of you guys ever fallen asleep in a recliner? Mm -hmm. All right, so everyone's got the grandpa or the, somebody in the family that always falls asleep in the recliner. Something happens to your body when you get in this position. All the core muscles that support your skeletal system get to stop working. And so what happens is your spine is actually a coil. And so when the, when the muscles get to stop working, that coil gets to expand. It's called spinal decompression. So all the nerve endings in your body come from your brain down through your spine and out to various parts of your body. So whether those nerves feel good, bad, and different, when you get spinal decompression, it makes all of your nerve endings just kind of go, ah. Oh. So it, it really, it's, it's no matter what size, shape, injuries you have, this is a great position to get into. You can actually look at the guys and gals floating around the International Space Station. Uh, they all are in this position. They're not floating around straight up and down. They are kind of curved. Uh,